Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy September. We made it through September. Made it through COVID, all that fun stuff, and flu season's just around the corner amongst all sorts of wonderful and horrible things. But today, we're here to do one of those things for YouTube that it's full of already unboxing videos with some guy talking. And uh, yeah, we're going to just add to that library another starch rec models and props things and stuff thing and here's this thing right here um this is one of the game print uh 3d printed painted ships um from mixed dimensions I think anyway yeah game print and uh there's a facebook group uh that's just about them printing these ships and just looking at the process they use and just all the different ones they make it's just, it's really cool, so I was like, well, I guess I gotta get one of those. But I didn't want to make any of my ships from the game. I just didn't, either had models of those, or, because I usually get canon ones, or whatever. I just didn't feel that much attachment to them, but um, for some reason, the Verity Variant, there's a fun word to say set of words to say a lot, but um, for some reason I really like that variant. I like the Odyssey class, um, and then they did that special pack that was ridiculously expensive for some reason that had a bunch of different variants, and they had like the concept art version of the Odyssey, and they realized that as a ship from the game, and I thought, oh, that's neat. And then there was the Picard prequel comic and i guess that was his ship i didn't even read it but i guess that was his ship from before so i was like well let's just mash those together mash those browns together and uh come up with this and apparently other people had too and i thought oh that looks fun and i just like the i don't know the design just spoke to me so i was like let's do that so i haven't looked at this yet i did cut it open this is the third time i've tried to shoot this as usual so let's see what we got here see you know, some little cards uh one of a kind, except when you order the same one other people have, so, but that's kind of on me. Uh, some information, quality control stuff, so we got nice packaging. Now this is the one of the five inch ships. Not the smallest one, but not the biggest ones that they have. I'm very excited. I think I ordered this in uh, July, maybe, so they they take a while, but hopefully they're worth it. Here we got anything else running around here. I don't think it comes with a base, so we'll have to figure something out. I'm sure I can come up with something. Maybe one of those um, Polar Lights, like 2500 scale bases might do okay. So let's see. I wonder what scale this would be. It's definitely do small for 2500 scale, but... Since this is like Enterprise E size. Okay. Let me out. Let's get out of here. Alright. Ooh, mysterious black paper. Don't be squished. That's the only thing I can hope. Ooh. Ah. Oh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Better not drop it. Hey, now. Wow. Ooh. All right. Well, that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Let's see. We'll put some uh, still images after this so you can get a good look, but that is not bad. Yeah, I love that, like, long... It reminds me of the Star Trek Beyond refit, which I always really liked. That's not hardly anybody's favorite, but I, eh, I enjoy it. Kind of reminds me of that. Let's see here. Let me get get some better. Well, not better lighting, but wow. Hmm. Oh no. I. I. You know. I said to myself, I'll order one, and that that's enough. But now I'm like, oh god. What else can I uh, can I do there? 
And if I recall, it's just like the default settings for the this variant of the Verity class. So like the default textures and everything. Let's look at the name here. 97005 USS Verity. Yeah, I can read. I can I can read it. Let's see. Is it showing up on the camera? Hopefully. But pretty crisp. I don't know how they do this. It's, it's they have like a wax mold or something. I don't know if they like it prints it on the mold and then they mold it in and it prints onto the th I, I have no idea. I guess I should pay attention to the videos more. Maybe it uh, explains it, but I, that is sweet and the lovely light lighting effects. It's lovely. It's just lovely. Let's see. We got the gap in there. The defect, deflector. So yeah. Oh, a foreign hair. That's a nice souvenir there. Yeah, it's a little fuzzy, but I mean, the thing's five inches long. It's not, it's not, uh, or fuzzy in terms of the detailing stuff, but I think, you know, that's, for what it is, I think that's uh, incredible. I, I, I'm just baffled at how they can do this, but technology, you know. Um, so we got this guy, and then I don't know what to compare it to. The only thing I could think of was a ship... Hopefully that I won't destroy here from uh, the new Star Trek Online Starships collection, which uh, I'm very, very much a fan of. So I, I don't know if this is really a fair comparison, but I know that that's, well, that thing's probably more like that in terms of scaling rather than that. But So, I mean, you can see what Eagle Moss can do, and they do pretty good. Um, they're, they're always hitting, they're hit and miss, but, uh, but I mean, just looking at some of that detail for somehow my, uh, registry's coming off there, but I mean, when you re I mean, for how big they are, when you really get down to it, you know, it's not going to be, you know, a, uh, vector image that you can just keep zooming down and it's perfect detail. So, but I mean, I love this. Uh, in fact, I'm probably going to have to, uh, order another one. Maybe I'll order one of my ships instead of one that's just completely random. Um, eh, hey, there you go. It kind of works. So there you go. That's the uh, USS Verity standard model, standard textures um, from Game Print Mixed Dimensions uh, from Star Trek Online. Um, and I think they have random sales for days and stuff like that so you can i think there was like 20 percent off something like that um i think they do like black friday and labor day and all that that fun stuff maybe not labor i don't remember just keep a check out their facebook and their page and uh you can keep apprised of any sales and uh you might want to pick yourself up one and the other thing is you don't need to play stow uh to get any of these you can just go on their website and people capture i mean people watching this probably know but for the people who don't they can you can just capture your ship in game so with any of the textures you can put on it any different name any different registry different symbols different you know the klingon version skin on a ferengi ship or whatever different shields whatever you can customize it to as much as your imagination will allow um and get it printed at uh, four inches, which is probably you know, about yay big from finger to thumb, and then five, and then I think there's a seven and a twelve inch. So, um, but yeah, and there's Federation, Romulan, Klingon, Borg, Species Eight Four Seven Two, whatever you can uh, get in the game, pretty much. I think there's some they can't do, but either because they're JJ or they're Discovery, and some are just too complicated i don't know i don't know you can look it up if you're interested you can definitely check that out so um i would definitely recommend uh if you uh have a little extra special spaceship income and uh you want to get something completely unique just for your collection definitely uh, go ahead and pick one up so we'll put some uh pictures after this and uh keep on trek and stay safe stay healthy wear a mask wash your hands you know all that good stuff take care